Hi, this is Brian with ActiveMelody.com. In this week's guitar lesson, we're going to be learning a solo composition that's played with slide guitar. And this sounds great on its own. It sounds great with an electric guitar and some overdrive. Or if you've got an acoustic guitar, you can do it with an acoustic as well. All you'll need is a slide, and you can buy one at your local music store. You can order one online, or you can use whatever you've got around the house. I see some people using old medicine bottles or the top of a wine bottle or a beer bottle. As long as it's metal or glass and it can fit on your finger, and slide on the strings, you're good to go. So I'm going to also show you how to retune your guitar from standard tuning into G tuning. A real simple way to do it. You won't even need to get out a tuner and you can do it quickly as well. So I've got the lesson split into two parts. In this video we'll take a look at the first half. If you'd like to watch the second half, as well as download the tablature for this, you can go to ActiveMelody.com, go to the lessons page and do a search for EP236. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is uh, we have to go from standard tuning down to open G tuning. And the reason why a lot of guitar players like open G tuning is because you only have to change a few strings to get there. In fact, if you look at your uh, standard tuning setup, uh, strings 2, 3, and 4 are already playing a G chord just in standard tuning. So all we're going to change is strings 1, 5, and 6. And uh, the first thing I do is I always just go into drop D tuning. So I take the fourth string and I drop the sixth string down to match that string. And you can do that by ear. You can tell when the two match. They're an octave apart. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop the one string down to that, uh, down to a D as well. So I'm matching the one string to the four, fourth string. So now we have one, uh, four, and six all playing a D note. The only other string we have to change is the fifth string. So this A uh, on the fifth string will drop down to match uh, the, th the third string, which is a G. And that's it. That's open G tuning with a D in the bass. Now, if you look at like Keith Richards, he actually takes the sixth string off the guitar and just plays with five strings because he, he sees that string as just being in the way. Uh, but that's it. That's open G tuning. Now the next thing you got to do is grab a slide. I've got a few. I've got a brass slide, uh, which actually I was using, uh, but it was just too heavy for this. So what I found was I was clipping there by hitting. It, it was it's so thick that it kept bumping the fret. And I did not adjust the action on this guitar. I left it standard, so this is not any special setup for this. Uh, but so you, you, a lot of it depends on how heavy-handed you are with your left hand. If you're real heavy-handed, you want a lighter slide. Uh, this is, I'm generalizing here, but if, if you're more of a light touch, you maybe want a little heavier. This is a perfect middle of the road slide. A friend of mine gave me this. It's a Sonny Landreth model. You can see it's got a signature on there, but it's a thick slide. It's a glass slide, but it's got the right amount of thickness for, for playing electric slide. And, uh, and I just love this slide. Uh, it's just a matter of time before I break it. I can't tell you how many slides I've knocked off a table and broke uh, in the year, through the years, but... Anyway, that's the one I'm using. I put it on my pinky. Some people use their middle finger or their ring finger. I find if you got your pinky, uh, you know, it frees up three fingers to be able to do some more fretted stuff. But just depends on what you're used to. All right, that's our setup. Now, the first thing that I played uh, sounds like this. That's the first thing we're going to do. And if you'll notice, I did not use the slide at all for that. That's all just 
uh, play it with my fingers there. So I'm not using a pick. I am playing finger style, and I'm. Uh, but this is easy finger style, so don't don't freak out if you're not a finger style player, because a lot of it's just using a single finger to to pluck a string. But we're going to start with our thumb on the fifth string, playing that G note, and then I'm going to play strings three and four with my middle and index finger like this. Just pluck those two. And then watch this. This is a slide that goes from the third fret to the fifth fret on the fourth string while you're playing both of those strings. And then I go back down. So it's a slide up and back down to the third fret. And then the open third and fourth string. So all together. And then I come down to this note. So that's the third fret, fifth string, and I hit that with my middle finger. Actually, with my right hand, I use my thumb to play that. And then after that, I played the open fifth string. And now we're going to introduce the slide and play that. Now notice how I'm doing that. I'm using my index finger with my right hand. And where I'm fretting this is really, it's, it, so it starts with the open fourth string. And then I slide up on that fourth string. I'm sliding up to around the third fret. Now if it happens to go a little bit past the third fret, you're going to get more of a major sound. So it just depends. This is what's awesome about the slide. You can get so much more expression. You're not locked in by the fret. And then I play the open third string. And then I came up just past the third fret and did some vibrato and then concluded with the open third fret again. I'm sorry, the open third string. So it sounds like this. All right, so from the beginning we have. All right, now the next thing sounds like this. I love that because now you're getting into like kind of more of the Delta Blues stuff. So we'll be playing the seventh sound and sliding back down to that open G. Now what I'm doing with my right hand, I've got my ring finger on the one string, my middle finger on the second string, my index finger on the third string. And I start with my ring finger on that uh, open first string and then I slide up to the around the third fret. Now what you want to make sure you're not doing, you don't want to hear this. If you're hearing clipping, you're pushing too hard. And that's the hardest thing about slide playing is the control. Just let it lightly sit on the strings. It's a very light touch. And see, I did it too hard there. Now I'm going to use my middle finger while I'm in this position and play the second string and slide back down. And then my index finger grabs the third string and plays the third uh, plays that third string as we slide back up to the third fret. So all together we have and then the open third string. I love that little lick. You hear that a lot in uh, just you know the the bluesy stuff. And one little tip I should mention. Uh, this will be a big takeaway uh, for those of you that are fairly new to slide. When you have an open chord, if you go three frets up from that chord. One, two, three and just play the top two strings, you're playing a seventh, or like the bluesy version of that chord. So if that's your G chord, you can hear how bluesy that sounds. So apply that to a different chord. If we were playing a C chord, you can hear by coming up to that position, you get that real bluesy seventh sound. All right, so back from the beginning. Now to conclude this, I went. That's how I ended that little phrase. And I'm doing all that with my index finger. So my index finger starting with the open fourth string, sliding up to the third fret on the fourth string, and then playing the open third string, 
Now, now I'm gonna slide up to the seventh fret on the third string. Back down to the third fret. Hit that twice. And then the open third string again. So all together. So all of what we just learned there was what you play over the one chord. So now let's learn the four chord or the C chord stuff. And here's what I, I started with. So we're gonna walk up to it that way. Really cool, easy to do. I'm just using these two fingers again and I'm playing uh, the strings three and four, open. And then we start on the third fret, fourth fret, and just walk it up to the fifth fret. Now watch this. From here, while I'm fretting, or while I'm holding my slide down on the fifth fret, I'm gonna play strings three and four, then two and three, and then one and two. So it goes like this. And that's all I'm doing, I'm just taking these two fingers and I'm jumping them up a set of strings. And then I do that seventh thing that I just mentioned. So hear how bluesy that got when I slid up to that position? And that's just playing that seventh note off of your C chord. And for that, I'm just using the same two fingers there, middle and index, and sliding up to the eighth fret, strings one and two. And then I come down and went. That's just string one on the fifth fret, sliding down. Then we go to string two, slide back up to the fifth fret. And then we play string three on the fifth fret. So it goes. All right, so let's back up and play from the beginning up to where we are in that four chord. And then I went and got back to the four to the one chord. So that's that's just the open third string. Slid it up to the third fret on the third string. That's all played with my index finger. And then the thumb goes down on the fifth string. And then I play that same little lick that I played in the intro. So that's exactly the same. And then it goes back to the open fifth string. Now after that I went. Now that's exactly the same way that I did it the first time. The only difference, that's the same. The only difference is just the timing. I played it quickly. So that was sliding up to the third fret on the third string and then playing the open third string. And again, I'm using my index finger for that. Now we go to the five chord, which is your D chord. And to, to do that, what I ended up doing was kind of a muddy water style thing. I'm just playing that third string and I'm starting it. I'm kind of dramatically building up to it. So starting here on the third string fifth fret, going to the sixth fret and then uh, going up to the seventh fret on the third string. So it sounds like that. And then watch this. So that's just going from that seventh fret back down to the fifth fret. And playing, and there I'm playing strings three and four. And then I slide it down to the third fret. Back up to the fifth fret. Back down to the third fret. And then off. So all together it goes. So you can see that slide up from the third fret to the fifth fret down to the third fret and then just take your slide off and it'll it'll be like a pull off. And then I played that open fifth string and did the turnaround that goes like very classic blues turnaround. So to play that after I played that fifth string, I use my ring finger on the open one string and then my middle finger goes down on the third fret fourth string. 
And then I go back to the one string. So we have this. And then this finger, middle finger just walks down to the second fret, then down to the first fret, and then off. So it goes. And then it comes down here and goes. Now for that, I'm gonna play thumb on the fourth string, index finger on the third string, ring on the first string. So you have. So. And then when it comes down here, it's just string four and one. Four, one, and then take it off and play with your thumb on that open fourth string. So all together, that turnaround goes like this. And then I play this little. And that's where we are taking advantage of that open D string. So it sounds like this. So that's a slide. I'm using my thumb on the fifth string. And we're sliding up to the fourth fret. I'm gonna play the open D string twice with my index finger. And then I come down and hit that low D, or the, the sixth string. And that's a, a good use of that D string. Obviously you can use it for other things, but I, I hear blues guys using that in the turnaround there. And that's really that first half. Now the second half I'm going to save for the second video. And obviously you'd have access to the tablature and, and everything as well. Let me back up and play through all of that one more time slowly so you have it as a final reference from the beginning up to that turnaround. And then I'll see you in the second video. So here we go.